Hey class, this is Mr. Carpenter. I am trying to do my first lesson in a video format. Uh, hopefully you can give me some feedback on if this looks like it works or not. I want to start with a little bit of review for corresponding triangles. This is something that we did before the closure. So this should be pretty quick and easy. I have uh, two triangles right here. I want to denote that they are corresponding. If I take a look at one of these vertices, I can see that vertex B and vertex E look like they're corresponding because they have the same angle measure. So I'm going to kind of note that. I'm going to show two ways just in review. Uh, so angle B, let me see if this works. There we are. Angle B is corresponding to angle E. Okay, and if you want remember this little symbol right here, a uh, little line with two arrows at each end denotes corresponding. And then if I go over to, to this one right here, A goes down this leg right here from B, and it's going to go down this leg from E to get to D right here. So angle A is corresponding to angle D, and angle C is corresponding to angle F. If you remember, if I start with one triangle, for the first letter of each of my correspondences, the second letter needs to come from uh, my second triangle. Okay. So another way that we kind of denote this one is if I wanted to show that triangle BAC corresponds to triangle, and I need to go in the same order, so EDF, and that will note that, for instance, if I look at the middle vertice, I need to look at the middle vertice over here to show that they are corresponding. Okay, so let's take a look at another one. This one is a right triangle. I know that because it's denoted, and it has been rotated. So if I go ahead and give these a label, let's say that I call this one D O G. Rough. <coughs> and if I call this one C A T, we'll see how well these work out. Uh, so you can tell I have a little bit of cabin fever. Sorry about that. Um, Let's take a look at these two corresponding because we can tell because they're both right angles. So I have angle D is corresponding to oops, angle C. And then if I go over here, I have angle O should be corresponding to angle A. But then if I look, I go down this long leg and that gets to T. Oh, so that kind of ruins that. Uh -uh -uh -uh. All right, so let me go back over here. Angle G is corresponding to angle A. Now, if I want to note this in another denotation, I can show that triangle DOG D -O -G, is corresponding to triangle CTA. Now let's take a look at another way that we might see this kind of displayed a little bit. This is a triangle within a triangle. So let's take a look at this. So I have a small triangle, BDE, within a larger triangle of BAC. Okay, so I have two triangles within the same picture. So I want to take a look at how we can kind of note this. I can get my drawing to erase here. There we are. Okay, so if I start off by looking at angle B right here, uh, angle B is a corresponding one because it's in both pictures. Okay, so uh, vertice B or angle B corresponds with which one? Angle B. Now that's a little bit of the, oh, that's a little weird. Okay, but that's the way it's going to work here. Now, if I go down this leg, I'm going to see, I'm going to look at this smaller triangle first. So that's going to be my left. So now I have angle D is corresponding with angle A. 
And then I have angle E over here. And that one is corresponding with angle C. Now if I wanted to show this in the other format, I could start off with triangle. Now let me go backwards with this one. I'm going to do the larger one first. So I can go A, B, C. So A, B, C. But I need to make sure that my second triangle, in this case my smaller, smaller one, goes in that exact same order. So if I started with A, what's my corresponding angle to A? Well, that's going to be D. So I'm going to go D, whoops, and I wrote B. My brain's not connected to my finger today. All right, so I have angle D, and then I go up to angle B. That one's corresponding for both, and that leaves me with C. So if I take a look at this, if I look at any angle, and I just messed that one up. Let me see, what did I do here? Oh, I forgot the E. So the smaller triangle, this one should be E right here. Okay, first mistake of my life, and you just witnessed it. All right, that's a fancy fix. Yep, there we are. So if I take a look at angle C, I know that it should be corresponding with angle E, the one I just flubbed up there. So C and E are corresponding. And if I took a look at D and A, those are corresponding. Okay? So... Minus the first mistake of my life, there's a good real quick review of corresponding triangles. And again, uh, leave a comment and tell me what you think of this other than the first mistake of my life. Let's forget that didn't happen.